Now we go to 3.3, that is the total differential and linear approximations. So let's just look at the formula. So we have a function of two variables, that is f, x, y. And if you look at the formula of total differential, it will be df equal to fx dx plus fy dy. And what is the dx? Okay, we let the dx equal to the increment x, that is x minus x naught. And we let the dy equal to increment y, that is y minus y naught. The x naught here is referred to the x of the original coordinate, and y here is referred to the y of the original coordinate. And for the formula of linear approximation, it will be f x y approximate to f x naught y naught plus df and the df here is referred to the total differential at the book let's just look at the function of three variable so now you have a function uh, function of f x y z so the total differential formula will be df equal to f x dx plus f y dy plus f z dz and let the dx equals to the increment of x Okay, and dy equal to increment of y, and dz equal to the increment z. Now the linear approximation will be f x y z approximate to f x naught y naught z naught plus d. Okay, let's just look at example one. Okay, so we have a function of two variable here. So we're going to estimate the change by using a differential. If the x changes from two. 2.05 and y changes from 3 to 2.96 and first of all we let the x equal to 2.05 and we let the x node equal to 2 then we let the y equal to 2.96 and we let y node equal to 3 then we're going to find our dx so dx you can obtain from x minus x naught. So if you minus, so basically is you will have the answer of 0 0.05. And then same thing happened for dy. So we will use y minus y naught. When you do minus, you will have dy equal to minus 0 0.04. The next thing is we look at the function. So this is a function. We're going to do uh, we're going to find the first order of partial derivative that's just differentiate with respect to x first. So if we differentiate with respect to x, at here we have 8x. At here we give you 2y. And this one, we basically give you 0. And then we go for fy. So if you differentiate with respect to y, this is basically a 0. And this is give you 2x. And it give you minus 2y. Then, we're going to, we're going to find the change by using the formula of total differential. So this is the formula of total differential. And what is our fx here? Our fx is this one, 8x plus 2y. And our dx is 0 0.05. And our fy is 2x minus 2y. And our dy is negative 0.04. And now the next slide is we're going to do the substitution. Now substitute the x here with x naught and the y here with y naught. x here with x naught, y here with y naught. Okay, bear in mind we just take the value from x naught and y naught okay, because we're going to obtain the answer of total differential from the original coordinate that is x naught y naught so now let's just simplify it so if you simplify it so this one is basically give you 22 and we're going to copy back 0 0.05 and this bracket basically will give you minus 2 and copy back this one so we have minus 0 0.04 and simplify you will have 1.18 as answer now we look at the example 2 so now in example two, so we're going to use the total differential to approximate the value of square root twenty five point zero one multiplied with cube root twenty six point nine eight. So first of all, let your x equal to twenty five point zero one, 
and let your y equal to 26.98 and then we need to identify what is our x node so our x node is a value that is very close to 35.01 but easier for you to do the calculation in this case this is 25 because 25 gives you 5 so our x node is 25 so for y node is 27 because cube root 27 is 3 okay the next thing is we need to find our dx so our dx is x minus x node so that is give you 0 0.01 our dy is y minus y node that is give you negative 0 0.02 the next thing is we need to know what is our function x y function f x y so since we have let this one as x and this is as y so we'll have our function that is equal to square root x multiply with cube root y now change this function into a form that is easier for you to do the differentiation. So we change to index form. Okay. And the next step is we're going to find the first order of partial derivative. We're going to find the fx first. So this is fx and we're going to find f1. The next thing is we're going to make use of the formula of total differential. So this is the formula of total differential and we're going to do the substitution. So substitute your fx. So your fx is this one. And then substitute your dx. So your dx is this one. And substitute your fy. So your fy is this. And your dy is this one. Okay. So now substitute your x original. That is x not 25. And substitute y as y node 27 substitute the x x as x node that is 25 and y as y node 27 in the next line and simplify it and you will have the answer of negative 0 0.0007 all right okay now we do not stop our example at here because we need to approximate the value so means that you need to continue the working so we go to the next step so the next step is we go to the linear approximation so this is the formula of the linear approximation so now you have f x y so what is your x y here so your x is referred to the x here that is 25.01 that is this one and our y is referred to 26.98 okay you're going to do the substitution for the left hand side for the right hand side we're going to substitute x node and y node your x node is 25 and your y node is 27 okay so the df here is the value that we obtained just now okay and just substitute here okay and the next slide will be we're going to substitute the value of x and y into your function f okay so this is your function f so you're going to substitute the x as 25.01 at here and you substitute y as 26.98 at here so we have the next line okay so for the right hand side we're going to substitute x as 25 y as 27 into this function so we have this one okay and this we copy right and then we're going to simplify for the right hand side okay and then you will obtain the answer of approximation in example 3, we have a function that has three variables. So we need to estimate the value. Okay, so first of all, you have to let your x equal to 2.01, let your y equal to 2.98, and let your z equal to 1.02. The next thing you have to identify what is your x node. So your x nodes is a number that is very close to 2.01 that is 2. So your y node is a number that is very close to 2.98 that is 3. And your z node is supposed to be 1. Okay, 
The next thing we're going to do is we need to find our dx. So our dx is x minus x, x minus x not give you dx equal to 0 0.01. Our dy will be y minus y naught that is give you negative 0 0.02. Our dz is the z minus z naught this will give you 0 0.02. Now we look at the function. Then we're going to find the first order of partial derivative for this function. So we're going to have fx, fy, and fz. Now let's just look at the formula of total differential. So this is the formula of total differential, and we're going to do the substitution. Let's just substitute the fx. Okay, so this is your fx, and we're going to substitute your dx. Your dx is this one. And you're going to substitute your fy, so your fy is this, and you're going to substitute your dy, so your dy is this one, and you're going to substitute your fz, so this is your fz, and you're going to substitute your dz, so this is your dz. Okay, so then we have the next line. And now I'm going to substitute the x node into here, so your x node is 2. And you're going to substitute your y node, y node into here. So you have 3 here. And as for you have the next line. And simplify it. And you have the answer for the df. Now again, we need to continue because we need to approximate the value. So this is the formula for the linear approximation. So let's just substitute. Okay, the value of x, y, z into the function. So you have the x that is 2.01, and you have the y that is 2.98, and you have the z as 1.02. Okay, and for the right hand side, you have the x node. Your x node is 2, and you have your y node is 3, and your z node is 1. Okay, your df. Is the answer that you get it you obtain just now that is negative 0 0.14. Okay, so for the left hand side, we will leave it in this form because your question is in terms of the form of function. We do not substitute the value of x, y, z into here. Okay, we do not substitute the function uh, the value of x, y, z into this function. Okay, we just leave it this way. But for the right hand side, you have to do the substitution. You have to substitute the x, y, z into this function because we need to find the value. So substitute the x as 2, y as 3, and z as 1. Okay, into this function. So substitute, and we have the next line. And this is just copy back. Okay, simplify it, and you will have the answer for the approximation.